today I'll be teaching you how to create your own login. First things first, you're going to get two forms. I'm going to right click on project, I'm going to add new, new form. Unit 1, we're going to rename it to form main. Then we're going to go here to the unit. I'm going to also remain it form main and class. Now we've got a unit 2. I'm going to name this one form intro. Once again, going to the unit, renaming it as form intro underscore u dot form. From there, we're going to go to project forms. We're going to take intro to the other side. Okay. <clears throat> From here, let's get some things onto our. Form 2, Unit 2. Yes, rename. We are going to load an image. With that image, we're going to go to a line. I'm going to go climb. It takes up the whole thing. Okay, let's go back to form main. And from here, I'm going to go to code. By users, I'm going to put it in form intro underscore u, and that'll be it. Okay, go back to design time. Over here, we're going to click on events. We're going to go to on show. And then double click on on show. What we're going to type here form intro equal to t form dot create. Under that, we're going to put form intro dot show modal. This will just make it show on top of form main. And let's go declare a variable I new. This is going to be an int. To form intro dot new string. Now this thing is going to give you an error if new string has not been not been declared anywhere. But we will declare it now. For now, I knew is equal to zero. Then application terminate. Go back to form intro. Over here under public, we're going to declare new string. Now, this is also an integer. Now, as you see, if you go back to form main, there's no longer an error for new string. Let's go populate our design time. We already got an image, so let's go load an image. Go back to properties. Now we're going to go to picture. Three dots. Load. As you can see, I got two pictures here. I want to go for the bottom one, a PNG. Okay. Then we're going to go to stretch. 
to make it to true. It can also be done in coding. Now go get two buttons and two EDTs. Now we're going to enable the top one, ET name. And the second EDT, we're going to name pass, password. Button is going to be log in and then cancel button two. Now, since we have our naming conventions. We're going to go back to the coding section. So run your thing just to get rid of the red lines. As you see, everything is there. Let's declare some variables. We're going to have this name. This part. This part again. But it's part one. This is a string. Now we're going to go to button login. Run it and now we're going to put some coding to it. So is pass is equal to ETU. Wait, sorry. EDT password. S pass. Two. Now this is going to be your password. I'm going to just write it as JP and in inverted commas. Are we just going to go put some show messages in? Now if EDT name equal to remember to put a space in between sorry no space pitch mm. now you're just gonna write whatever message you want And end. Okay. Then we're going to do the same for password. Now we're gonna go S pass equal to S pass one. In the beginning. New string. Is equal to one. Then just close. Go run it and see if it works. Oh, no error here. Just text. Two errors. Again, text.
if you see if I press button lock in, nothing happens. As you press these, I'll populate the room. Now, if I do that, that, nothing in them. If you get the show message, please enter that name. Please enter. I'm just gonna go Josh. Then my password, which is JB. Login. And as you see, now we've got four main. Now what we can do, take away this end of here, go else, begin, then show message, and don't forget about your inverted commas. And there we are. You got your login. Enjoy.